So you're looking for a DAC, you're on a low budget, you got limited desk space, or you're looking for something that you can easily pick up and move from one place to another. Well, this might be just what you need. In this video, I'm looking at the iFi Uno DAC. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So the iFi you know, check out how small it is. Look, it fits in the palm of my hand, literally. How cool is that? So this little budget guy is just coming in at a mere $79. That is pretty affordable for a DAC, especially one with the features that this one has. Just to put that into context, this little DAC here costs 100 and what was it, 109 or 119? Anyway, quite a bit more than the Uno, and it's got none of the features. It does have a balanced output, but apart from that, yeah, so just keep that in mind. I mean, around the $79 point or even anything anywhere under $100, it's pretty limited what you can get in terms of desktop DAC. So anyway, check this out. Let's have a look at the build. Well, actually, no, I'll tell you what's inside first. It's got an ES9219MQ DAC chip in it, which is a little bit unusual. Normally, iFi tends to use Burr Brown DAC chips in their products, but Lately, they've started using a couple of Sabre chips here and there, and this is what we've got in the Uno. So, in terms of build, it's very lightweight. It's plastic, but it's a very tough, hard plastic. Uh, plastic all over, in fact, except for the front panel here, which has a an aluminium plate on it. While we're here on the front, let's take a look at what there is. First of all, obviously, is the big volume knob which is also the power switch. Then on this side is the EQ button. There are three EQ modes. You've got gaming, video or movie, and music. And you can also have no EQ, so keep it flat. Then you've got the power match button next to that, which is basically iFi's version of the gain switch, so low gain and high gain, and you've got a single-ended 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Around on the back, it's pretty simple. You've got your USB Type-C input. You don't need a power supply for this. It's all done. The power delivery and the data delivery is all done via the USB-C port. And then you've got your RCA out. Very simple. So you can use this as a preamp. You can send this to uh, an amplifier, or of course, you can just use it with IEMs and headphones. Righto, let me power it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So, when you power it on, there you go, I've got my power match switch on. There is a green LED behind the dial there, don't know if you can see it. And when you cycle through the EQ settings, these light up. These aren't actually buttons, they're just lights. So that's gaming, movies, music, and off. So it's super simple. It's plug and play. You don't need any drivers to use it with Windows or Linux or Mac. And you can actually use this with a smartphone as well if you so desire. That's my iPhone for comparison. So that's how big it is. And by the way, what's interesting about iFi's EQ settings is they're all in the analog realm. Normally, especially with something this small, you'd get sort of digital filters, but these are actually analog filters. So none of that audio quality is lost in the process. So that Sabre chip, that DAC chip, it supports up to PCM 32-bit, 384 kilohertz, fully native DSD 256, and it also does MQA. Is MQA still a thing? I don't know. Now, if you're wondering if the Uno has enough power for your headphones, I can tell you it probably does. It can drive my Sennheiser HD 650 on high gain, easily with plenty of headroom to spare. I look 
just be reasonable. I always say this. Don't try it with something like a Hi-Fi Man Sosvara or ridiculously difficult to drive planar headphones, for example. But for just about everything else, for your Sennheiser HD 600, 650s or your Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pros 770 or whatever, this will have the power and obviously for pretty much any IEM or earphones on the market, this has the juice. So how does the little guy sound? Well, let me tell you, um, it, it actually sounds really, really good. I mean, it is just a DAC after all. It's converting a digital signal into an analog signal, but it does it in a very nice way. I would say it has a neutral sound signature with perhaps just a slightly attenuated treble. So I found, I found the Uno to be to pair particularly well with brighter IEMs and headphones because it's got very smooth treble up top. Now let me walk you through how each of these EQ settings sounds. With gaming mode, you're getting basically an upper mid-range lift. And what does that do? That is particularly good for hearing footsteps. I, I think that the bass is slightly attenuated in gaming mode as well, which might surprise you. So a little cut in the bass, a little lift in the upper mids, primarily, primarily so you can hear footsteps better in first person games. Then you've got movie mode and movie mode basically uh, brings vocals to the forefront so you get uh, a mid-range lift with a slight reduction in the bass and the treble and then in music mode uh, it does a little tiny extra little bit of bass and a little bit of extra treble as well so it makes the sound a little bit more dynamic and lively or even a little more v-shaped it's kind of like your loudness button that you see on some devices mostly legacy devices and then of course there is the eq off mode which sounds really neutral really flat and if i'm being honest a little bit dull but i kind of like it so i've spent all my time with the eq off or in music mode obviously and um yeah this little guy sounds great it's got good resolution, it's very detailed, it's got more than enough power for anything that I want to use with it. It's got good staging actually, it's got a really wide sound stage, which is quite surprising. Oh and by the way, just in case you're wondering, for anyone who's got a, a Zendac or Zencan or any other of those iFi products, there's what they look like size-wise for comparison. So you can see this little guy really is little and uh, I think for that entry level price of $79 you're not going to find anything better than that for a little desktop you know it's you know if you're an audiophile just starting out and you want to get a little DAC your first DAC this is this is ideal it's perfect you can use it with active speakers or you can you know like I said use it with an uh, external amplifier and all your headphones, earphones. Great little device. That is the iFi you know. I would highly recommend it. I think it's brilliant. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, Parfram audio file style. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.